First, we need to roll out a slab of clay to be the base of our vessel. Start with a softball shaped sphere of clay, making sure to get all of those wrinkles and creases out. Grab a rolling pin and start rolling just like you would cookie dough. Roll it out with even pressure until it's the thickness of about a pencil or your finger, no thinner than that. Once you have it at a nice thickness, grab your cup and trace out a circle. While there are many different types of coils that you could use, for the purposes of this video, we are going to stick with a long, straight coil. To start, you want to grab a piece of clay that's about golf ball size. Roll it up so that there's no creases and no wrinkles in it to start. This is going to make sure you get a nice, smooth coil with no cracks or creases in it. Then it's time to roll. I like to stand up for this because the amount of pressure that you apply to the coil as you roll is really important. You want nice, even pressure. You want to work your way from the inside of the coil all the way to the outside. And as my hands move outward, I'm making sure that I give full rotations to the spin and I'm applying even pressure all the way out. You just saw me measure to see if it was going to reach all the way around the base. It didn't. I kept rolling and now it works. Now it's time to score and slip. This is by far the most important thing to remember when doing your project. It takes a little bit of patience, but it is going to be what makes your project successful. If you do not do this, your project will likely crumble or explode in the kiln, and no one wants that. So what you'll see me do with the needle tool is make X marks all over the clay. You want to score whichever parts of the clay you want to stick together, okay? So you'll see me going in one direction and then the opposite direction. This creates some traction between the clay so that it can grab onto each other and stick. What you saw me paint down is called the slip. That acts like glue. It's really just watered down clay that makes sure that the clay sticks together. If you do not do this well, your project will not work. You can use some of the tools to smooth out your clay and make sure that everything is pressed together nice and neatly. Then it's time to roll more coils. You'll be rolling a lot of these for this project. Remember the same steps as before, even pressure, working your way from the inside out. My next coil is ready to be attached, so it's time to score and slip. If you want it to stick, you must score and slip. So I use my needle tool to make those X marks on each piece of clay that I want to stick together. Then I use my slip to act like glue, and I line the X marks up and gently press down to make sure that they adhere to each other. Once the coil is attached, I trim it to where it needs to be trimmed and I use my fingers to smooth anything out that needs smoothing. I press things down, I make sure everything is nice and attached before I move on to my next step. Continue to add coils to your vessel until you reach a height of at least three inches. Make sure you use a ruler to check.
Once you've reached the required height of your vessel, you might notice that you have some spots around the vessel that are just not quite perfect. It's really easy to smooth those out, either with a dry finger or if your clay is a little bit on the dry side, you can dip your fingers in water and use your finger or any of the tools to smooth things out. Anytime you press against the vessel, you want to make sure that you are supporting it also from the inside, just to make sure that nothing topples over. Now that your vessel's all smooth, it's time to add an additive sculpture. So sculpt something to the side of your vessel that you'd like to attach to it to give it some detail and visual interest. This could be whatever you want. I attached a simple butterfly and a flower. Make sure that when you add your additive sculptures, you are scoring and slipping, using tools to add details as you go, and be careful not to make anything too thin or too thick and heavy to weigh down your vessel.